Congratulations on purchasing the new MPI 100 Pupilometer from Neuroptics. The latest in high-tech instrumentation to help clinicians provide the highest level of care to critically injured or ill patients. The device is very fast, accurate, and easy to use, and you can become proficient in a very short time. The pupilometer should be fully charged before first use. Insert the battery into the pupilometer as shown, making sure that the battery contacts are pointed in the direction indicated on the label in the battery well of the device. Plug the power supply into the middle plug on the back of the charging station as shown. The other two plugs are not used. Then plug the other end into the wall socket. Place the device straight down gently into the charging station. A thunderbolt will appear in the battery icon on the LCD screen. To remove the device from the charging station, tilt it toward you and then lift up and out of the charging station. Do not pull straight up without tilting as this may damage the charging station. To install the headrest onto the pupilometer, remove the headrest from the packaging and snap it into place. To take a measurement, you must be at the main measurement screen. To get to the main measurement screen, press the left or right key. Use the forefinger to press and hold the left or right button down to target the pupil. Make sure the device is held parallel to the patient's body, no tilting, and that the eye is shown within the bounds of the blue square on the LCD screen. Once you see a green circle around the pupil, then release the left or right button. You may need to gently hold the patient's eyelid open. Do not remove the device from the eye until the measurement results appear on the screen. If desired, you can watch the video of the measurement showing how the pupils reacted to light and compare one pupil to the other. This can be very helpful when the pupils do not seem to be reacting briskly. From the measurement results screen, press the down arrow key, navigate over to the video icon, and then press the select key. In order to print the measurement results, press the down arrow button on the keypad, then press the right arrow key once to get to the print icon. Point the infrared window of the pupilometer about six inches away from the printer and then press the select key. The pupilometer must be within range of the printer, pointed directly at the infrared window of the printer, and the printer must be turned on. The pupilometer will turn itself off after 60 minutes of inactivity outside of the charging station. However, to turn the device off immediately, navigate to the power icon on the main menu. Then, press yes to confirm that you would like to shut the device off. To turn the pupilometer back on, either place it in the charging station or hold the up arrow down for three seconds. Several features are available through the menu icons at the bottom of the main measurement screen. To access these icons, press the down arrow key and then the left and right arrow keys to navigate to the desired icon. To enter a new patient ID number, from the main measurement screen. Press the down arrow key and then press the select key. To browse for records, press the down arrow key and then the right arrow key. Once the green box is around the browsing records icon, press the select key. To change or adjust settings, enter the settings sub-menu from the main measurement screen. This is where you can change the date or time, change the brightness settings of the LCD screen, disable the pairing feature, or test the white LEDs, which must be done periodically. We hope that your Neuroptics pupilometer will help you provide the highest level of care to your patients. For any additional information, please refer to the user's manual or call Neuroptics customer service and someone will be happy to assist you.